Hey, how's it going? My name is Jackie Fish and welcome back to some more Total War Arena. Today we're going to be going ahead and playing my boy Leonidas. Now Leonidas is probably one of the champions or generals, whatever you want to call it. But one of the generals that I play the least out of all of them. I just don't really fit his play style of kind of being very slow and just moving up. Once you get stuck in, that's kind of you. You're stuck there and you're ready to fight to the death. Literally to the death. And I, just, I much prefer like a multi 80s which I can just run around the battlefield and cause havoc rather than having just to kind of let people choose where I fight more than anything else and I feel like as well as you got the higher tiers it's much harder to find a good engagement because people will just not engage you um, whereas at the lower tiers which we are playing at tier 6 it's probably going to be a little bit easier than that also we're using this hot ass uh, god of war skin really really nice shit uh, it's just, I love that shield that shield looks clean as fuck like really really nice right there um, I don't think anyone can fault this. I just wish, I'll say it, I say this in every video, I wish these commander skins went ahead and changed the bodyguard unit's look. Now they are adding in colour packs into the game, I know it's this bloody Steam 2014, um, but so hopefully they'll do something with these commander skins, I feel like as they are they're just not worth the gold, however if they go ahead and let you change up the bodyguard unit I think that would be a dope dope move and maybe gave them some interesting uh, you know, cosmetics or something, I feel like it would make these commander skins much more interesting um, and more exciting. Um, so yeah we're going to be playing as the tier 6 Fourier Spear Pre premium unit and the reason I'm playing is this unit because as I said I don't really like the stationary play style um, of moving around and these guys are really really fast on multi 80s you can get some insane speed on them at the moment they have four movement speed four hop lights that's pretty goddamn good so what I wanted to do was just try and see how they fare with Leonidas we have obviously shield bash fight in the shade and also hold the line Let's just jump into a battle and see how we'll do. Because as I was saying, like the, the Fourier Spears are very, very quick. However, their biggest issue was they just had no missile block. They would just get melted by missiles. And Leonidas kind of fixes that with his fight in the shade, giving you an additional, I think it's tier 6, it's like... 50 something missile blocks. So basically making you take next to no damage from missiles. So I thought it'd be really interesting just to take this guy out and see if this works. Because... As I said, the Fourier Spears, they have pretty good defense besides Missile Block. Um, they're pretty fast, which Leonidas kind of lacks. So putting Leonidas on that really fast maneuverable unit could be really effective. Especially with that Shield Bash as well. lets you really turn a lot of these engagements on their side. Appa's Grey is not in the snow. What is this? Gross. It's cool that they brought this back. I'm hoping that the other one's still in here as well. I literally have not pay played Appa's Grey in a long goddamn time. Uh, we are also in a tier 7 game, so we're going to have to obviously pick our battles quite carefully. But I'm sure we'll be able to get it done and see what we can do. We'll probably stick off to one of our flanks and see if we can uh, try and avoid the enemy that way. Yeah, we'll go in the tall grass, making it so that you can't get in two tiers above and just save the game. That's one of my biggest complaints about you know World of Tanks and stuff, is just the tier banding is pretty awful. Um, and you end up getting into a tier above where you basically can't damage. Whereas tier 6 to 7 really isn't that big of a jump. Like, yes, it is a jump. And if you try and fight them head on, you're going to end up losing. But you can still do a considerable large amount of damage. And just don't put yourself in that position in the first place unless you can kind of make it worth it yourself. Let's go ahead and advance forward with our Fourier Spears. These guys also have Javelins as well, which again makes them kind of more of like a, a unit that can just kind of hit and run. Obviously Leonidas is not a hit and run type of general, but still. And here is the God of War skin as well. Oh, it just looks so goddamn clean. I mean, look at that. Oh, baby. So nice. It literally is the best Leonidas skin uh, for sure. I'm still waiting for my boy Alexander to get some love. So they can't... Oh, that's a lot. Oh, dogs. Dogs are fine to deal with, I think. Shield Bash slaughters the dogs, so... Then swords might be a bit of an issue. But we have archers as well, so... It's okay. Oh, we need that tower. If we had that tower, we'd be so well off right now. Just form up like that. And we obviously also have the javelin toss as well. So we obviously know that there's, there's men here. We need vision. I don't really want to push across, because... Can they see me here? I think vision ends, like, around here. But maybe they can still see me. We'll form our phalanx really quickly if we can. Obviously get our javelin throws off. We'll let them dogs clash into our shield wall. We'll push forward a bit as well. So we'll get right into that. Yeah, look at that damage. It's so much. We'll push in here a little bit. So he's going to get rebellion as well. But he rebellioned on like three of his units. So we're just going to fall back. We're obviously going to use our javelins to... 
Did not mean to form phalanx with this unit. Yeah, this is just such... This unit is fucking great. Like, I'm really clusterfucked right now. So it's not really doing amazing. Um, and I need to make sure I try and protect these uh, dogs as well. Okay, yeah, this unit's going to die, unfortunately. Why did I raise shields? Oh my god, that was bad. Just going to these dogs again. This archer player just needs to friendly fire me. We just need to fall back as much as we can. If this archer player kind of needs to friendly fire me. But he's failing to do so. We've also got reinforcements turning up though. So I'm basically just going to hold these guys in place. As best as I can. Yeah, oh my god. I've even forgot about my strikes as well. Wow. With the strikes, we yeah, with strikes and also shield bash, you just do so much damage. Oh yeah, this unit needs to fall back as well. Totally forgot about strikes, honestly. Uh, we can get out of our formation, try and route these guys. Yeah, we'll try and route these guys. Uh, we'll obviously throw our javelins as they try and run away as well. Throw your javelins, please. Can you throw your javelins in? Maybe not. Maybe, yeah, maybe you can't do that in that formation. Okay, well, let's head back to our base. But yeah, look at that. 2700 aggression. That was a cluster. And I, I, like, I'm not good enough to really micromanage my phalanx. As I said, I barely ever play a, a stationary phalanx position. Get another javelin toss. But this unit is sick on Leonidas. Like, how, did you see how fast they were in that phalanx? Now, they, I'm pretty sure they are actually toning down the, uh, the phalanxes very, very soon. I'm just go up and help protect this artillery. I mean, this guy has to run now, right? Is he not going to run? We'll obviously shield bash him as well. Oh, look at that damage. We'll strike him as well as he tries to flee. Um, hello? Hello? Someone here? Hello? <laughs> hello? Are you just going to let me kill you? Oh my god. Yes, please. They're both just letting me kill them. Okay. Slaughter them all. Is it, so let me know in the comments. So please give me constructive, constructive feedback here on um, on my phalanxes and, and what I should do to really like do the best. Like what I'm not doing right now. Do let me know, as I'd I'd love to know. Um, but yeah, let me know. Like, is it better to fight cavalry in phalanx or is it better? Is it better to um, try and form up so we don't get charged there? Is it better just to fight them normally or what? Let me know because I'd be interested to know. It's probably better just to pull through, which what I, what, what I wasn't doing over there. Obviously, striking as well is probably pretty good. Let's try and curve this formation a little bit. This artillery is friendly firing. It really doesn't need to. I've got this. But yeah, we just killed a lot of cavalry. I mean, look at that. Always 4k aggression. Oh, my God. It's like I plan these games, right? I honestly don't, though. I messed up my uh, shield bash there as well. You guys can get out of that formation. Yeah, like, like is it better just uh, to simply fight these guys normally? Now, I know these guys are oath, but obviously I'm phalanx, so it's fine. That was a really, really effective case coming in. Well, we actually just routed. That was bad of me, probably. Should have maybe uh, have popped the, the whole line, but... Just push into these guys. Because you do knock back as well, even like cavalry. I feel like, I feel like maybe it's just better not to fight these guys like that. Even with like a shield bash, you don't really do too much. Well, we don't really have much left, but it looks like our... I mean, I say it looks like our team's winning, but a lot of, but pretty much all of our points are right here at the moment. I'm hoping my unit's going to route. It's going to get close to, but we still have some men to move around. Yeah, I dig this tier 6 unit right here. This tier 6 is pretty goddamn good on Leonidas. And Leonidas is still alive as well, my boy. The God of War right here. We must defend our yeah, I mean, almost, almost, almost uh, 4k aggression is not bad. And I don't think I played anywhere near good. Like, I would say I definitely underperformed on this unit. My, if, I, if I was actually good, my micromanagement here would have been great. There's just a lot. There's a lot to take into account, uh, for sure. What is this button here as well? Like, this button here, like, what, is, what does it do? I, I kind of almost want to get rid of these. Just for, like, when I'm, when I'm playing. I don't know how, though. I don't know where, where it would be. Show, what's this? Enabled show other players... Telestreams? What was that? Is that, is that like their movement? Yeah, like it'd be nice if I could turn that off. 
like what people have left and stuff. I'm sure there is a way, but we, we won't we won't look about it now. I'll do it off camera because I feel like I can just look there. Um, and this is just kind of takes up a lot of room, makes it look really, really messy. So we'll probably avoid that. Nice, they've gone ahead and killed all of that. Yeah, it looks like we're going to come out on top. I'd hope so when I've done this much aggression. And again, a lot of my aggression points were on dogs, so I wouldn't really take what um, yeah, what I did to like, just think, oh, Jackie, you're actually pretty good. No, I'm not. Trust me. That was that was all the people who actually played phalanxes probably were, were cringing uh, quite heavily. But let's just make our way over to this base. Because, I mean, even with Leonidas, you have 4.3 movement speed, which is goddamn amazing. Um, you know, the Carthage... Oh my god! Oh, they're in Phalanx, right? And it lowers your movement speed by quite a lot. So yeah, the Carthage Spears, um, which are kind of somewhat lighter, but they're not actually, like, I felt like Carthage Spears should be a lot lighter than they are, and a little bit faster than they are, like, maneuverability, but they're actually quite slow, but I mean, look at that, we have a... We have a free, we have a, what, a 0 0.6 movement speed bonus on them? Which is pretty good, if you compare the stats, you know, better turning speed as well on the Phalanx, you know? Our defensive stats are just dramatically better. What are, what are we so much better than that? Just kind of generally better. Yeah, melee defense is huge on these guys. Missile block is better. And obviously I have fight in the shade. Fight in the shade. Go all the way up there. And the shield defense as well. Yeah, these guys are just really good. Obviously not as great offensively. But you don't really need to when you have shield bash in your arsenal. Yeah, I would definitely recommend this unit. I mean, this unit is just, in general, a really good premium unit. I feel like it excels in a lot of, like, multi-AD. It just kind of it, it just kind of emphasizes what the champions are good at on multi-ADs. They just, this faction, when it was, like, left alone on multi-ADs, would just get slaughtered um, by missiles and other stuff. And obviously, dogs I had a really hard time with. But, I mean, with strikes... I definitely should have used my strikes a lot more. But with strikes and also shield bash... And then you have the javelins as well to throw on people. Like, this unit is really, really strong. Might have to do this again in another video at some point because, whoo, baby. Oh, they've even set up our. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen someone set up artillery in the enemy base before. Leonidas trying to move. I mean, uh, Germanicus trying to charge forward with his armored legionaries. They're far too slow, though. Incoming! That's what we like to see, and obviously your boy's gonna be up there, right? Your boy's first. No, what? Don't take away my MVP screen. Bring it back. There we go. Ooh, baby. MVP Jackie Fish. That's what we like to see all day, all night. Um, God, I'm probably gonna be like a number one Leonidas pro in no time, right? Tiberius, you better watch your back, mate. <laughs> Tiberius, for any of you don't know, is a uh, very, very, very good Leonidas player, um, and he's part of my clan as well. Um, there's even on. I want to. I'll show you his stats. He literally just plays Leonidas, and he's pretty good with him. Uh, pretty goddamn good. Yeah, almost 2,000 games just on Leonidas, the only champion he plays. Oh, he's also repping the God of War skin as well. Uh, shout out to Tiberius. Let's just queue straight back up. We have our. Yeah, we have our consumables ready to go. Let's see if we can get the uh, the same done. Oh god, I love it that they recently made the... Well, not re it's actually quite a while ago. But the XP is just so much nicer. Like, it really doesn't feel like anywhere near as much of a grind as it once did. Leonidas, uh, yeah, Leonidas looking pretty good right there. It's not bad, right? Not bad or whatsoever. Do you want to zoom in on his face and his nice little nipple things right there? Why does no one else have the, the nipple uh, nipples on his armor, eh? I guess Leonidas. Oh, look at them guns as well. Very nice. So, yeah, let's just jump into another match. We'll see what we can get done. The XP on this uh, premium unit as well is pretty good because obviously you don't have to pay for any um, any replenishment or anything as well. So, you just rack up a lot of uh, free experience, which you can then obviously buy and then use to spend on other units. For Mopoli, oh, well, we have to go to the Hot Gates, right? We cannot play Leonidas on the Mopoli and then not go through the Hot Gates. Which might be a little bit difficult if we run across pikes or something. We're going to have to maybe turn tail and run just because we stand no chance. But we, we can see what we can get done. We can see what we can get done in Leonidas. And, you know, I feel like even if we get absolutely slaughtered in this match here within two seconds, I feel like we did our job. We, we did what we needed to do in the last game, and that's all that matters. So if we get absolutely smashed this game, then hey, hey, it's okay. We we showed the true power of the God of War. That is for sure. 
And I mean, especially because we're going to be... We actually have a lot of ranged artillery on this one. Three big pieces of uh, artillery and then also some light artillery. Would you guys be interested in a light artillery match? Um, where I play either light or heavy artillery and we just see how, how that goes down? Would you guys want to see more more kind of like... Because I feel like I have a very specific type of units I want to play. And it's mainly just cavalry and then some infantry here and there. But would you guys... Do you guys want to start seeing more like... More varied stuff? Oh, that's going to be really good. If the light artillery comes down the hot gates... Um, if anything runs down there, we will just kill it. If anything, what we should do is we should bait out infantry to come down the hot gates and then him just kind of pop round out of fog of war and, and be like, surprise, motherfucker! Surprise, motherfucker! And just start piling down the uh, bolts. Because light artillery can really do some pretty crazy damage. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I imagine Leonidas will look much better on a map like this. Oh, look at that. It's just a big boy. Big boy right there. We'll rest when we're dead. Oh, yeah, yeah, you will. Oh, I want to see what he looks like in Phalanx as well. That'll look great. Let's just have let's just have Leonidas in the hot gates. And then his boys behind him. And we'll form Phalanx as well. Now, whilst I'm trying to do this photo op, whilst Leonidas is trying to take a selfie... Definitely end up, you know, not in the, the best situation. Some archers come up and just pepper me. Elephants. Okay, well, we can't do this, but I want to take this photo, so. Oh, God, what do I need? I need to do this quickly. There we go. Take and call. Now let's fucking run. Fucking run. Now, the good thing is that this unit is fast as hell. These light artillery need to, to kill these guys as well, because they're going to stampede towards me. Basically, just need to run. Um, and I hope that some javelins come down. Uh, elephants left. Help me! This light artillery should do okay at taking them out. Yeah, they're going to set up. And we also have javelins ourselves as well. So what we could do... Fuck, I did not mean to do that. Oh my god, I... Oh my god, that is so bad. Please just... just... Oh no. That is... Okay, fucking run, boys. Actually, does Phalanx do damage? I don't think Phalanx does a lot of damage to these guys, right? Oh my god, look how many javelins we put into this elephant as well. I meant to press R. Okay, could we do some serious damage to them elephants? Oh yeah, their archers are going to hurt as well. But I can't really, because this does make me slower, right? Dramatically. I mean, all this light artillery has to do, and elephants have to do, is just, you know, it's not hard. You guys go up there. You guys move around there. We've got artillery. We've got everything. Just shoot these guys, you know? Even if it's friendly fire, it's fine. Yes, yeah, so we're basically just playing runaway right now. Do we just hold these guys in place with the javelins? Maybe we do. Maybe we do just, just like, shield bash do damage? Oh, yeah. We'll just hold these guys in place right now. We'll take some damage. I was interested to find out if shield bash does any good damage. I mean, I know elephants aren't very good at the moment. There's just a lot of ways to take them out. But if we just basically run away, just leave one unit to fight whilst everyone else does the damage, then hey, I guess. And it probably shouldn't leave Leonidas, but try to stop him. We have no javelins left on them. But we have a javelin left on these guys. So we're basically just trying to take care of all of... Oh, fuck. I mean, that's why you don't go ahead and just bring... Um, that's why you just don't go ahead and just bring artillery, because it's just not good. Also, how are these archers? Like, where's our cavalry at? Literally the freest stuff in my life. And yet there's no cavalry killing these archers, like... We'll just obviously fight in the shade, I guess, try and do some damage to these guys. We are attacking them from the back, so... It's not awful. The only thing is we don't have any charge or anything, so, like... Yeah, them elephants are going to fucking hurt. We're mainly just here to try and help kill the horses. Yeah, there's just... Where are our cavalry? Like, there's six units of archers by themselves. And yet, we're not killing these guys. And they've also got artillery. Do we do we even have any cavalry or is it just all dead? Don't really see the... Uh, like, what's going on right now? Like, yeah, this is ridiculous. 200 aggression, ah, it's a gross game. 
But not a gross game because Leonidas. A gross game because what the fuck are you supposed to do against this? There's no wind. There's nothing here protecting these missiles. And our cavalry is nowhere to be seen. I think I saw it up here somewhere. I mean, there's no way I can... I just have to literally sit there and take it. And, like, same with here as well. Maybe, maybe forming Phalanx will help me against these guys? I guess it's a good test to see how well Phalanx does. Uh, it does okay damage. It actually does pretty good damage. Let's take Leonidas and see what we can get done. This is literally a, a 300 right now. This unit does pretty bad anyway. I mean, I'm just going to get shot to pieces, right? What can I do? At least we get loads of defensive points, eh? Yeah, well, what can we even really do here? This is definitely a loss, unfortunately. Just, just, just so much open archers right now. At least if these guys want to attack properly, they have to do... Yeah, I, I, the thing is, yeah, as Leonidas, I'm just not going to be able to catch these missiles. So let's just fall back. Take a bit of arrow fire there. Maybe try and engage these guys. These tier 5s would be kind of nice. Yeah, our archers definitely did drop the ball in this one. Let's go and just pop fight the shade on them with them guys. And I guess just try and engage these dudes. And <laughs> just absorb this. Three points, I guess. I guess three points. Oh, we can catch this, surely. Yeah, at least try and force him off a bit. It's annoying that phalanxes don't do friendly fire anymore. So we just want to get as deep into his ranks as possible. And then shield bash. And then obviously fall back a little bit. You guys come around there as well. Again, there's no real... Uh, let's pop up our thing as well. Just because we're going to die soon anyway. You guys. Oh, nice. In their side as well. We should be doing some good damage. Let's go ahead and dense, make our formation a little bit more dense as well. Some nice damage. We got our shield bash soon as well. Back soon as well. Yeah, we're going to get slaughtered here, though. Try and turn our way. So, like, let's see how well we do against... Yeah, Leonidas has just gone down. Okay, Phalanx is actually doing pretty nice damage against Elephants, honestly. I did not think it would be as good as it is. Um, yeah, you guys are still getting shot. I mean, do you want to give me any more defensive points? Shield Bash doesn't really do great against Elephants. I imagine, obviously, this formation isn't going to do great against Elephants either. But yeah, you, if, you, if you're skilled enough, I imagine to killing an elephant isn't the worst thing in the world. Like, it's probably not a favourable engagement you want, but it's probably not the end of the world. God, I keep pressing uh, my wrong buttons. On, and that's really detrimental on Phalanx is to press the wrong button. Yeah, you're killing them pretty good. I mean, like, Carthaginian Hoplites be slaughtered. I mean, he's still got a thousand aggression. Um, I mean, it's not that great, but considering the situation we were put in, it's not really much we could do. We're obviously no longer knocking back as well. Because I, I, I just don't know. I just haven't played Phalanx enough to, like, really understand what to do in these situations. I mean, I personally feel like there was little I could do to, like, over overall influence the battle. Like, it's not my... It's not my place to kill these archers. It's not my place to kill the elephants. And considering when we had the archers completely undefended, you thought our cavalry would pounce on that, but... I guess we just didn't have enough or they got taken out early. I mean... Do we even have any cavalry? We must have had some cavalry. I don't know who was playing it, but there was some... Oh, well, the Arminius, yeah. That would have been nice for the Arminius to take them out. But, oh, well, I mean, we still got, you know... A thousand aggression, I guess it's not great, but it's top five of our team, so hey, it's not all bad. <laughs> the eight thousand defensive points. I think they are heavily looking into the le the um, leaderboards, so hopefully these will get updated soon, and uh, it'll be much more sensible. Because what I did does not deserve for me to be top of the team, right? I didn't do anything. Yeah, I, I killed some infantry and stuff, but like not really. I don't deserve to be top of the team because of it. So, uh, like, uh, hopefully they'll, they'll update the leaderboards. And I will say this as well. I, I always say this in every video. But the, the the rate at which updates come to this game are kind of slow. 
However, every single update tra changes something for the better, and it's always so good, the changes they make. Uh, generally, is always really, really good. Like the uh, tier banding, that's probably one of the biggest issues in Total War Arena back in the day, you know, a couple months ago. And when it, the update came out and they've changed it and it made it really, really decent. Um, XP, it felt like a really big grind. They basically doubled the XP gains. Uh, you know, and it's just really good that they listen to the community. And I think I always give the arena team development uh, development team props for that because they really do listen to the, the community. And, you know, stuff might take a while to get into the game, but they are generally really, really decent at it. And I'm also hoping we'll hear some more information about the new faction soon um, as well. I'm really looking forward to finding out what that could possibly be. Um, let me know what you guys think the new faction might be in the comments down below. Um, also, drop a like and a comment down below if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.